Good morning guys, welcome back to my vlog. The time is 9.30 in the morning. It's a Monday morning. It is September the 11th, which is George W. Bush's favorite day of the year. I actually got up at 5.30 a.m. today. One of my friends, one of my good friends, he is a personal trainer. So I had to go over to his gym and shoot some video. Uh, it's kind of like a promotional video that he's making. Just editing that together now for him so I can send it over today. Um, but that was pretty fun. I don't even know if I'm in focus. This camera is not that. This camera is really not that good for autofocus. So, so close to getting the camera of my dreams. I need to check my finances, but that's going to be an awesome video when I do finally get that. <sighs> Back to editing. Well, I'm going on holiday to Australia in seven weeks, well, six weeks. <laughs> That's not too bad, is it, for one morning's work? Time for Motivation Monday. I think I've got poo on my hands. Check the hat. Doesn't fit me properly since I've had my hair cut. As you can see, I'm driving along. <laughs> I don't have any shoes or socks on. Guys, so, welcome to brand new, first ever Motivation Monday. Maybe I'm gonna have to pull over to explain what this is because I talk in bits. It's a, oh shit. Police, fucking police just drove past me. <sighs> ah. Guys, so I have finally pulled over so I can talk properly without stopping and starting and trying. I have to really concentrate, concentrate when I drive. So what am I doing? Basically like, you know how you have, um, say you have like a YouTube channel and then on your YouTube channel, you either do like vlogs or tutorial. The real big YouTubers, some of the big YouTubers, I'm pointing more specifically at someone like Peter McKinnon, um, he has like two minute Tuesdays. Now, as much as I don't want to rip off the idea of having two minute Tuesdays, I wanted to do my own sort of thing. And I wanted to do something that, you know, gives a bit of structure to my vlogs as well. So it means that I don't do daily vlogs. Just lately, I have been uploading pretty much daily. Um, but to get a bit of structure to my YouTube channel and get something going that will create a community and will create create people, end up building a community of people that will keep coming back to my videos. That's what I was trying to say. So basically, I'm going to be calling this part of the channel Motivational Mondays. And basically, what it will be, pretty self-explanatory, it's just me talking about motivational stuff or stories that I've heard from other people that have really made me feel motivated or stuff that I've done that I know has motivated other people or just talking about certain situations or things that are going on in the world that can motivate you and, and where to get motivation from and kind of touching on things like passion and inspiration as well. But that's something I can kind of give back to people because I'm a really passionate person and I do believe that some of the stuff that I've put out before has really motivated people to do similar sort of things. So yeah, basically the idea of it, Motivation Mondays, and I'm gonna make sure it's the same thing every single Monday. No DSLR, no expensive mics. It is literally Monday afternoon, it's three o'clock in the afternoon now. Three o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday, I will go out and I literally get in my car, don't give a fuck what I look like, got my GoPro Hero 5, whack it on a mount, hit record and I'll just drive and ramble until the battery runs out on the GoPro or I run out of petrol. I'll eventually get home and I'll edit it into something that's not seven hours long of me rambling and hopefully it'll be a decent little video. Can only be trial and error. So let's go for a drive and talk.
welcome to the first ever Motivational Mondays with your host, Stuart Carter, where every single Monday we go for a long drive, plug the GoPro Hero 5 on the mount, and we ramble about motivational stuff. Hi guys, episode one. The first thing I wanna talk about, and I think it's the best thing to talk about straight from the very start, is where do I get my motivation from? It is a question that I get asked quite a lot. What gives me the motivation to carry on doing stuff? What, where do I get my motivation from? Having haters and having people that are negative because I actually find so much motivation dealing with like haters or dealing with negative people or people that want to put you down as much as they can. They're just jealous bit of people basically. Instagram, when I first ever started it, um, Gemma and I had this goal, we had this plan, we had this vision that we wanted to be creative people. We wanted to think outside the box. We wanted to live this fairy tale lifestyle and go around the world and have brands pay us money. And like, we posted pictures that would, would make us be perceived as already living that kind of lifestyle. Right from the very start, we posted those type of pictures. And people that were close to me, people that weren't close to me, people left, right and center, found the negatives in that people would constantly post comments on my pictures like why are you posting this cringe shit man why are you why are you doing this? why don't you just go and get a normal adult job like everyone else people that like were my friends ended up not really being my friends and inviting me places anymore because they thought this kid's just posting weird shit all the time like basically like taking the piss out of me um for the way that i was to the point where I almost said, I, I literally said to Gemma, like, I, I don't want to do this anymore, man. People are like, people are taking the piss out of us. Like, people are laughing at us. People think that we're just two immature people that are just dreamers and that we should just grow up and get adult jobs. Anyway, flash forward after all this time, I've since then seen those people in the local shops or wherever, and they've come up to me, put their hand on my shoulder and said, you know what, Stu? Fucking hell, we saw the Suzuki advert, we saw the Coca-Cola stuff, we saw the J2O stuff, we saw this, that, the other, and fucking fair play to you, man. Like, this guy, he literally, I remember, I'm not gonna say his name, but he came in there and he said, I remember all of us boys used to give you such a hard time about what you was posting, but you know what, you're the one that's fucking laughing now. You're fucking getting up at whatever time you want and earning more money than we are and we're working in shit and off, shitty office jobs. And that's not to brag, man, that's a true story. That really did happen. And that is where I find my motivation. That's where I find motivation. I find motivation in reading someone's shitty comment. I find motivation in somebody tagging their friends as though to say, oh my God, look what he's posted now. Look what he's doing now. Motherfucker, make money every single time you want. Keep tagging your friends. Tag more friends. But there is a point to this. The point is that I find motivation in people like that. But sometimes I feel that being an outgoing, positive, happy person gets under people's skin. And it does. I get that it does. And I get that these people, the thing that they get the most angry about is they're like, fuck man, I have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning, queue up in traffic in a shitty suit and work for people that I don't know or give a fuck about in a job that I don't like and I make half the money that he's fucking making and he's getting up whatever time he wants playing Grand Theft Auto all day and making fucking stupid YouTube videos that's true, that is true you're just blabbering on like you're meant to be talking about motivation and you're like negging us out with this shit but actually there's a really 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 valuable point in here I am not angry at those comments, the nasty shit, the negativity, the haters, the bitches, the people that moan and fucking complain and just come on my videos just to put a thumbs down on them. And like, and there are people out there that do that shit. Trust me, there are. But that's the point that that shit doesn't get to me anymore. I went through it all with Instagram and I came out the other side living the lifestyle that I wanted to live and everyone can see that and now accepts it. And if I see them, loves the fact that I'm doing it and they're all super good about it and now I've just started YouTube I've started to notice that some of those people and new people are crawling out of the woodwork and they're all coming back and they're I'm starting to see some nasty shit but 
this again this video isn't to say that that nasty shit is getting to me or getting under my skin or pissing me off now a i actually find motivation in you being like that it makes me want to carry on doing more shit on more new levels um but secondly there's a real underlying point to it as well the point being that you guys you guys are probably watching this channel and thinking to yourself you know what cool man stuart's gone he lives in a city where people don't accept this as normal. They accept YouTube and Instagram and social media lifestyle as weird, as fucking weird. So you know what? Fair play to Stuart for actually pulling through on the Instagram side and actually doing it. So you guys might be sat there at home and this is, this is the point of the video. Not just to talk about my side being motivated by that shit, but also to say that there are people out there right now you guys that could be watching my video who are like super creative are super out the box thinkers are super like create content they just want to make a big youtube they just want to make a big instagram they just want to get out there but you're being stopped by people who are like why the fuck is he doing that why the fuck is he doing this shit haters negative people people that don't want you to create that shit and it's like you get to a point that's make or break. You either say, you know what, they're right. I'm just gonna quit it. I'm just gonna quit my dream. I'm just gonna go get a job like they have. I'm just gonna go get a normal nine to five everyday job like they have. And then you failed yourself, man. You failed yourself. You gave up on yourself and you gave up on your dream to keep those fucking bitter, bitchy, nasty people happy. And that's the double-edged sword of this video. The fact that one, that's where I get my motivation from now. And two, that that's sad. That's quite upsetting to think that there are people out there that want to do this cool shit. But there's so many like negative people and so many haters out there just don't understand that like social media is a career that's 90% of the time way better than their own career. And they hate you for it, trust me. But that's a sad thing, reminding me for the Monday to get a fucking drink before I do motivational rambling Mondays. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm parched. Sorry. Pulled out on Nigel. Nigel looks like a hater. He's right up my ass. He's one of those people. In fact, that's probably who like online social media hatings are. They're the people that fly up behind you when you pull out of a turning. Like, fucking get out of the way. Shut up, man. See, is the fucking sky still above you? Some people just care too much, take it too seriously. And I tell you what, I don't know if you'll be able to see this as I come around the roundabout, but look down there. Damn, you wouldn't have been able to see that. But that was a queue back to the city. I'm talking a two mile queue of people queuing up coming back from <laughs> coming back from work and those people are the people that will go home click on this video on my facebook and go what well, fucking idiot what a loser what a loser just driving around making a video what's he doing that for should get a real job well sweetie talk to you about a real job i made six thousand pounds this month i got up at 11 a.m every day i completed 16 levels on grand theft auto this week alone <laughs> no but i'm actually being fucking serious as well you gotta love them in you you can't really live without the haters man was this a bad first motivational monday was it a bit negative no it wasn't of course it wasn't because now I'm inspired to go home and create more shit. I've got that feeling, you know, I've got that like buzzy feeling inside me where I'm like, I know there's fucking haters out there that are gonna get angry at shit. I know that they're gonna be like, why is he doing this? Why is he posting more videos? Stop posting videos, Stuart. Everyone come and look at how cringy it is. And I'm just like, fucking yes. Keep commenting on it. Keep getting people to watch my videos fucking loving getting paid every single time you watch oh god i tell you what is not motivational the fact that it's raining 
and I'm stuck in worker people traffic. Let's be a little tiny bit serious just for one moment. The reason that I wanted to do this is because there's a lot of negativity in the world. There's a lot of positivity. There is a lot of negative people online. But there's also a lot of positive people online. There's also a lot of people out there that do really want, they care about content and they care about YouTube and they care about Instagram. And they care about these people that are making this kind of content. And they're the kind of people that I love. They're the kind of people that also really motivate me to just carry on making content. And I, guys, I will fucking tell you right now, honestly, I am loving my life at the minute. I am fucking so inspired and I'm so like, ah, oh, I'm so glad. I'm just so happy, like, just waking up, picking up a camera and capturing my emotions and my moments and my days with no filters on them, with no Photoshop, with no anything else, just me and my girlfriend sometimes living our life and sharing it. And I don't care if 20 people watch it or if 20,000 people watch it. It's just the feeling of watching your video back when you hit that upload button at night time and you sit back and you're watching your YouTube. And my YouTube channel is growing, by the way. What's up, man? My YouTube channel is actually growing, by the way. Like, we looked at the stats yesterday and it's gone up like 265% or something like that. Like, it's gone up loads. The, the amount of like watch time and the people that are coming back to the channel so i'm i'm fully confident that the channel is going to grow and you guys are going to keep watching my my vlogs and keep watching my motivational mondays and any unboxings that i do and tutorials on how to grow instagrams or make better videos and like oh man i'm just i'm just so pumped i'm just so like i feel like this is a good day man it's monday and i think that everyone should feel like this on a monday why do people talk about this Blue Monday thing? Why do people talk about, dang, it's only Monday? Like, it's Monday. It's Monday. It's the start of the week. It's the start of, like, a new week of vlogs. It's the start of a new week of creating content. It's the start of a new week of checking your bank account and being like, fuck the hater! No, it's a good time, man. And for me, it's a great time to be alive. And I'm, I'm just so thankful and I'm so happy. And, like, I'm in such a good place. I'm getting to create content that I want to create. I'm getting to do whatever I want to do. And I'm still learning, man. I'm still like, I'm still like picking up the ropes as I'm going along. But I'm loving YouTube, man. And I'm still loving Instagram. You know what, guys? I've rambled on for... I hope you guys like this. Um, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments below. Please do. If you aren't subscribed, then please do. If you uh, could do me the biggest favor in the world and just drop a thumbs up on here if you did like it. If you didn't, then double tap the like button and it gives you like a major dislike or something. It would be good to know what other people think. I'm confident that I'm gonna carry on doing motivational Mondays. I think it'd be good for all of us. Literally one street away from my turn in and my SD card is pretty much full. If you're new here, do subscribe. Check out my other videos and let's be friends. And other than any other vlogs or any other videos that I do put up this week, I will see you guys next Monday at 3 p.m. Why you build your barriers, the taller I become. Inside so strong, thinks on the radio. What do we think's on the radio? It is a slow love song. I'm gonna guess that it is a slow love. Into my street. We have been a homeless place Two magpies What a way to end the vlog <laughs> ah! <laughs>